Okay, let's hunt some nickels. I got a box of circulating nickels, and it's time to get hunting. Uh, hopefully, we find some awesome things in here, but uh, we won't know until we rip into these rolls. So let's get into them. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Roll number five, and I got the first find here. Got a 1941. This one is pretty rough, but it is an old nickel. This one is from Philadelphia. It does not have a mint mark. Nice, 1941. That's the third, third year? Fourth, fourth year of the Jeffersons. Roll number seven, we've got another find here. We have a 1940, 1940, uh, looks like a Philly, I don't see a mint mark there over by the building, just some gunk. Uh, another pretty destroyed coin, but uh, that is a 1940. On to roll 10, and we've got a 1959 here, 1959 out of Denver, that's another old nickel find there. Roll number 12, I got a Nice old nickel here. It's a 1942. Let me slide it over so we can see it here. 1942. Just poured this out and saw that sticking out. And uh, if you look, it looks like this coin has been polished down. Um, and probably recently, you can see how reflective it is under the uh, under the surfaces there. And this one is a Philadelphia night. 1942 out of Philadelphia. You can see the high points on the reverse have been polished down as well. Uh, this has probably been stuck in some sort of machine. So maybe it got stuck in a dryer and the dryer, as the dryer turns, it rubs down the, the coin and can rub on both sides. Or it could be another machine, could be machined on purpose um, or accidental like in the dryer or what have you. So nice old nickel to find. Roll 14, we have come across a nickel that has an older look to it. It does, it is pretty worn, so it may not be an old one. It may just be a newer one that's worn, but it does have that older look to it. It doesn't have a mint mark on reverse. So if this is old, it's gonna be a filly. So let's flip it over and see what it is. 1942, nice. That is a, another 42 and probably the nicest old nickel we found so far. Roll 16, and I've got to the towards the end, and I notice we have a 1946 here, but we do have one that looks older in front of it. Let's see, ooh, 1949, that's a 1949 out of Philly. Nice, so two finds in this roll, and then we got a 1946. This one is from Philly as well, nice. Two 40th nickels in this roll, awesome. My roll 24. And I've come across pretty dirty 1955. This one is definitely seen better days. This one is a Denver. Nice. That is another old nickel find. Roll 26. And I've hit a 1954 here. 1954 out of Denver. Nice. Nice, nice. Roll 27. And it's going way through, and it looks like I got a 59 coming up here. Yep, 1959 out of Denver. Nice. Very cool. Roll 28, I just poured it out back here. Let's see, it's not on the camera. Let's move it over. So I had a 1958 sticking out. This one is a Denver. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is another. Nickel to go up here with the rest. Roll 29. We've hit another nickel find in 1954. Nice. That one is a Philly. Nice. I think I got another 54 up here somewhere. We're just going to put it there and hopefully it's the same one. Okay, I'm on roll 39 and I've come across a 1954. In pretty nice shape. That one still has some nice shine to it. Still has some good details. It's in pretty good shape as it is. This one is a Denver. Yeah, that is a pretty nice one. That one probably will upgrade the album. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna put it up here to the side just to 
picked it a little bit more. So that's cool. Nice find there. Okay, we are on to roll 46. Come across a, another 50s, 1959. Out of Denver. Nice, that's another old nickel for the stacks up here. Roll 48, and we got another find here. We got a 1957. This one is a Philadelphia. Nice. Roll 49, and I've got one here that has that older look to it. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see, this one just has that older fill to the surfaces, and it is a 1947. Nice, that is a 1947 out of Philadelphia. Cool. All right. All right, time to wrap up here. Um, we had seven from the 40s and nine from the 50s, including this uh, nice 1954 here that will hopefully uh, upgrade the album uh, there with that one. Um, I do have a few other coins over here to the side that I'm going to check against the albums, but I don't know how those are going to look. Did that with two 2009s. I don't always share that I, I get the 2009s, but uh, 2009 was a lower mintage year. Um, once we got out of the 50s, um, I think the next lowest year is 2009. And 2024 may end up being another low mintage year, um, just depending on if they end up producing more or not. The year's not over, so they could always make more. But if they don't produce any more, it's going to be another low mintage this year. So uh, nickels and dimes were low mintage in 2009 and possibly this year. So keep your eyes open for those. Um, maybe hold on to a roll if you can find a, a, a roll if you if you're, if you can get a hold of those. Um, so yeah. All right, well, let me check the album, see what we can do with these and, and the other nickels over here. And I'll be right back and let you know how those are shaping up. Okay, so wrapping up real here, uh, real quick here. I did have two that I was thinking about putting in here, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade those. The 54 and the uh, 1962. They are just slightly better than the ones we have in here. Um, and I'll sh maybe pop up and show you a quick comparison of those at, uh, right here. Um, but I do have some of the holes are getting really weak and some of the nickels are starting to fall out and such. Oops, see, that one just fell out. And I don't want that to become a thing, so like it just kind of slid right back into place. So I don't want that to become a thing, so I think I'm going to hold off on those two unless I find a, you know, a really, you know, like a mint state example to switch out for those. So I've got those over here. I'm going to set them aside, and I'm, I'll think about that. If I do decide to switch them out, I'll put a little list down here and show you how many, uh, which ones I switched out. Alright, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.